Hello and uh, welcome back again uh, to another uh, video from uh, trainingright.com. And uh, in this series uh, of uh, learning SQL for testers, uh, uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you as how uh, you can be creating a database. Now the the question is uh, why we as a as a tester should be knowing as how to create a database uh, uh, because that's not necessarily our job. But what this will do is uh, th this will uh, make sure that we touch everything. Like uh, if if um, this will make us uh, much more confident about uh, you know uh, being able to participate in the interviews and answer questions because uh, you have you have um, you have been interacting, you have been writing queries. Uh, now we are looking into how to even create a database and uh, create some tables and how to enter data. So this will, if you do it hands-on, this will make you understand, um, you know, databases um, in a much more uh, confident manner, right? So uh, I think it's a uh, it's a uh, time uh, well spent, uh, 15, 20 minutes well spent. If you could uh, go ahead and then do that. So what we do, we get into SQL Server. The way we do that is by bringing a management studio. Here is my SQL Express, the free version of that. I'm just going to click on connect and then it is going to connect here. Okay, here we are talking about if I expand, we have a bunch of databases here, right? All of these databases. Now we are going to create a new database, right? The way I'm going to be creating a new database is I come here to databases, right click on that and say that new database, give me a new database. Well, it is going to ask you, okay, you want to create a new database. What do you want to name this database? What is the name of this database? Let's say the name of this database is uh, Training Right. Training Right. Okay. Now, let us see what are the things which uh, are happening in here. Now, if I make a little space here, when you create a database uh, on your own machine, of course, it is going to ask you that and it is telling you where it is going to go and save that. And if you see the path it had selected for you, where it is going to save it is program files, Microsoft SQL Server, MS SQL 10.SQL Express, MS SQL data. So this is where it is going to save it, right? Now, where is this? If you go in here, if you bring up your Windows uh, Explorer, let me bring up my Windows Explorer. And in the Windows Explorer, I have to go to C program files, Microsoft SQL Server. So this is my C. This is my program files. Program files, where is my program files? Program files. And uh, SQL Server and SQL Server. And in SQL Server, it said I'm MS SQL 10 SQL Express there. Then MS SQL. And then it was saving it in the data. Right. So this is where it is going to save. Right now, we don't have training uh, right over here. Why? Because I... I did not, I did not, I did not hit OK. Once I hit OK, it will go and it will do what? It will create two files. Now, let me see. Right now, you don't have any of the training right, right? No training right. Now, let's see what happens. When I go and when I create, when I hit uh, OK, right? It takes a couple of seconds. And after that, see here, two files, two files, this file and that file. What is this file? This file is called an MDF file. This is where all the data will be sitting, MDF file. And the other one is the log file. So uh, what happens is whenever you create a database in SQL Server, two things happen. It creates two files. One is the MDF files uh, where all the data goes. And the other one is the LDF files where all the uh, transaction goes. And here you see the training right database. When I expand that, I, you see that we have everything the same like with any other database. Now let's expand the tables and see what we have. I have no tables. I have no tables in here. So next, uh, what are we going to do is create a table. So how do I create a table? Easy. It is very easy. You right click on it and then you say, give me a new table. Now, when you create a table, what is the goal of this table? You have to enter uh, some data, right? So what kind of data are we entering in, into this uh, uh, table? I would be entering some data like, uh, let's say, my courses in trainingright.com. What are the different courses which I have? So when I create this uh, new table, I will I will have something on the right which, which will tell me, okay, uh, what are the different column names? So I will have a column name called course. Uh, course number course number is one of the column name and what are what am I I'm designing this table now I'm designing this table so there will be course number and uh, what will be my course number my course number will be let's say 
QTP, um, let's say November uh, 2011. Um, and it's a Tuesday, Wednesday back. So uh, it's like a 10 digit long or 12 digit long. So it, it is having what? Numbers and characters. So this n char 10 is good. Uh, if the size is going to be more, I can, I can, I can increase the size and make it n char 12. Or the, the, the better one here is the, which everybody uses is called var, var char, right? Var char. So the size of this is 50. I don't need 50. I need maybe uh, 15. So I could just come in here and I could say 15. And allow nulls mean, can I have like a course without a course number? No, I, I don't want that. So I don't want it to be null. I don't want it to be empty. So I did course number. Next thing is I will do course, course name, course name. Again, course name is going to be a var char. So I will come in here and I will select var char, right? Var char. And this could be a long one, right? So I will select maybe 30. It will be 30 there. And do I want to have a course without a course name? No, right? So I will take it. Now, for now, that's enough for me, right? So I want to enter some data. But before I enter, I have to save this. It, it, it is calling it table one. But I want to call this as what? I want to call this as uh, courses. Right. So how do I save it? See here up there is a floppy. So when you click on that floppy, a box will pop up. Here is the box and it is asking you, OK, enter a name for the table. What is the name for my table? It is courses. This is about courses, right? So the name will be courses. So I hit OK. So as you see here, there is something called a courses, right? What is this DBO? This is like a database owner, database owner. He created this uh, called courses. So I have the courses. Now, if I want to enter some data into my courses, when I right click on that, um, when I say select top 1000, when I do that, it is writing the query, select top course number and course name from training right. This is the name of the database, dot DBO, the owner, and then the courses. So, so it is telling me that in there, there is nothing because there was no data in there, right? So now we have to enter the, some data. So the way I'm going to enter the data is I will right click on it and I will say edit, edit top 200, right? Do, it doesn't matter 200, 1000, whatever doesn't matter. We have to edit. This is select and this is edit. So when I say edit, it is giving me this and I could enter the information. So my course number, it is going to be, let's say it is a QTP course. So it is QTP. And when am I doing it? I'm doing it, let's say, in November. In November. November of what? November of uh, 2012 or 11. And I do my courses either on Tuesday and Thursday. So that's my number, course number. QTP, November, or I don't even have to say November. November is what? November is 11. So QTP 11, 2011, TT. So this is my course number. And what is my course name? My course name is um uh quick quick test professional right and i will say qtp right okay why is this a red thing that means that it is not saved yet when i hit enter it goes to the next one and it is saved if i want to make some space to see it right okay so i just entered my first course let me enter my second course my second course is Selenium. So SEL for Selenium. Again, November 11. Uh, this is 2011. And this I do it on Monday, Wednesday. Right. And what course is this? This is Selenium. Selenium. Um, uh, web, web testing course. And this is uh, also course. QTP course and this is the another course. Now, uh, when I when you see that, uh, you know, let me just uh, say it to you one more time. Okay, uh, this is Selenium. This is Selenium web uh, testing course. And now notice the word course. So I said Selenium web testing course. I have two courses now. Two courses in my database. Now notice I said Selenium web testing course. So here I said quick test professional QTP and I want to say course. But when I'm putting course there, when I'm putting course, it is it is giving me an error. The error it is giving me, it is saying that 
um, it is giving some message. It is saying if you see the error message, I know from this error message what it is, right? And this will come with practice. It is saying that the data one in row one was not committed, meaning whatever change we do, we did here, it is not taking it. Why it is not taking it? The reason it's not taking the message error message is string or binary data would be truncated. That means that it does not have enough space right because while creating this we said 35 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 and so it it cannot take this course right so what i have to do is either i have to not put this course right or i have to i have to go and increase the size of this increase the size of this right and that's what i will show you in my next video how you could go back into the design and increase the size so that it can take maybe longer, longer QTP, uh, quick test professional QTP online course, right? I cannot put that right now because there, uh, it won't take because the space was less, all right? And that's what I will show you in the next video. Uh, once again, thank you so much for watching. In this video, what we have covered is how to create a database in SQL Server. We created a database called Training Ride. I showed you how to go right click on that and then, you know, new database and create the database. I showed you where it saves in the file system. There are two files, MDF and LDF files. And then after creating this database, Training Ride, it was like that. And we expanded that and then there was nothing in the table. So when we expanded, we created a table. We right click on that and then we said new table and we created the table and I entered some data into this table. Right now I have only two courses. In my next video, we'll be putting adding more courses in it. And then I will write, we will learn to write some queries, right? Okay, that's about it in this video. Once again, thank you so much. And if you like what you're seeing here, I want you to go to www.trainingright.com and uh, see uh, what are the upcoming uh, courses. Uh, uh, which we are um, go going to conduct in near future. And if you are interested in any one of those uh, uh, courses, then you should uh, contact us uh, um, and uh, get enrolled into those courses. Uh, thank you for your time, and we will see you back in another video.